Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So the Fast and Furious 1 event is coming up. I think there's going to be three or four of these things. I can't remember if it's three or if it's four, but we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at this and talk about the lock-ins and stuff like that. All right, so there is a total of... There's a total of 80 races in this event. And if you complete this, you're going to win the Dodge Ice Charger. All right, the only way to get the ice, ice Charger in a lot of these really cool Fast and Furious cars is by completing the Fast and Furious events. Now, you're going to need a total of five different cars. So, lock-in number one, you can either use the LB Gran Turismo Stardale, Stradale, the Ford Escort Mark, Mark 1 RS1600, the HS Custom Under Pressure, the Ben Spora GTR or the Corvette Stingray. All right, the Stingray, this GTR, and the Escort are all Fast and Furious cars. Somebody said a few of these are actually available to buy with gold. So, you know, if you don't have some of these, you might want to click on them and see if you can buy it. Some you may be able to, some you may not be able to. The Fast and Furious cars are all going to cost you real money. Some of the non-Fast and Furious cars, like this HS Customs, let's go ahead and click on this. Yeah, you can get this for 3,950 gold right now. That's pretty cool, actually. But that's what we have on lock-in number one. So lock-in number two, you can use... All right, same stuff. Same stuff here on lock-in number two. That's interesting. Same exact car, so you can use any of these cars on lock-in number two. Okay, let's try lock-in number three. Wow, that's interesting. Same exact cars on lock-in number three. So the thing is, you're probably going to have to have all five of these cars. Lock-in number four, what do we got? Same exact thing. So, yep, you need all five of these. These are the five cars. And it looks like you can probably lock these in on any order. Now, this, this Tier 4 LB Gran Turismo MC Stradale, this is going to be probably the slowest, not-so-greatest car out of all of these, to tell you the truth. All right. Now, the HS Customs Under Pressure is a super cool car. If you got some parts for this thing, you might want to think about buying this. But if you buy, like, for 40 bucks, you can get this package where you get three of these cars. All right, so unfortunately, you know, they don't have all five available. But you can buy some of these cars. But it's going to cost you a bunch of real money to buy these and then buy all the parts to go through the event and get that Dodge Ice Charger. So after this one comes up, there will be another Fast and Furious event. And that's going to have some... You know another prize car at the end so you, you'll be able to win several cars but the next event is probably going to use different fast and furious cars so let's take a quick look at all the different cars here in the fast and furious section and first you've got your ice charger this one is a prize you can only win this by completing the events all right so you got your lb aventador coupe this is going to be used for some sort of fast and furious event not the current one that i'm showing you right now but one of the future ones we've got the rwb 911 very cool car also going to be used for some sort of fast and furious event oh again if you don't have some of these click on rare imports and maybe maybe just maybe you can buy it for gold if you really maybe not i don't know some cars will and some won't all right, so we got the Fast and Furious WRX STI. That's going to be used for some sort of Fast and Furious event in the future. Here we have a Shaker Challenger. <clears throat> All right, so this is probably going to be one of the prize cars. I don't know if this is going to be a prize car or if this is going to be one you can buy with real money. It's going to be one or the other. You're not going to be able to get this with keys or gold or anything. It's either going to cost you cash or you're going to have to win one of the Fast and Furious events to get this car. Next, we got this Lamborghini here. More than likely, more than likely, this is going to cost you real money or possibly gold. We got the flip car. This is one that you actually have to win as a prize. You can't buy this. You have to win this by completing one of the events. All right, we got the Lancer right here. We got this Lancer right here. 
that's probably going to cost you real money. We got the GT Mustang Fastback, which is a new car in the game. New Fast and Furious car, guys. All right, this one's either going to be a prize or it's going to cost you real money. I'm not sure which one. We got the new Skyline, the new GTR Skyline. Very interesting car, guys. Very interesting car. Actually, this isn't the new one. This has been around for a while, but it looks super cool. This is another one that's probably going to cost you real money. You're not going to be able to buy this with gold or pull it with keys. I wouldn't think anything's possible, but usually you can only buy that one with real money. Next, we've got the Supra. Again, this is a car that you can only get by completing the last Fast and Furious event. All right, this will probably be the prize for the very last one. I would love to have this car, but unfortunately, I don't have it. All right, you've got the LB Gran Turismo Stradale. Right now, you can buy this for 2,100 gold. Um, I mean, if you really don't need this car, this car is not very good, honestly. It looks really nice, but it's not a great car. It's not fun to drive. It, it doesn't do well for anything, to tell you the truth. So if you, if you don't need this, don't buy it, okay? If you need it for the event and you don't already have it, that's the only reason you would buy this car. Then we got the HS Customs Under Pressure, and that is for sale for gold right now. We got the Escort. All right, we got the Escort. That's one you're going to have to pay real money for, usually about 20 bucks. This guy, I don't know. This one's probably going to be, be something that costs you real money as well. We got the Corvette Stingray. All right, right there you can see that one's $14.99. You can only get this car with real money at the moment. As the other Fast and Furious events pop up, some of those other cars are going to be available. All right, right now some of them are not available because the event that they're being used for is not on the map. But when the, when the events pop up on the map, there's going to be more stuff like that for those cars. And those cars will be available to buy probably for real money maybe a couple for gold probably not but anyways you get the idea there so let's just say you don't have any of these fast and furious cars you're going to end up paying between like 20 and 50 dollars to get all the cars you need maybe more just to do this one event and win the ice charger and then you're going to have to buy park crates all right it's going to probably cost several hundred dollars to get through one of these events if you don't already have the cars and i think there's three or four of these so remember that it might cost you 200 bucks to get through this one and then the next one might cost you 200 bucks and then the next one might cost you 200 bucks i mean I, i've known people who have spent up to 500 dollars to make it through an event because they just kept buying park crate they had to buy like three or four or five different cars and then buy all the park crates with them which cost real money and some events can really drain your wallet quick especially when there's several of them like there are with this fast and furious deal so anyways i think that pretty much uh, i think that pretty much wraps this video up guys see we got a token cup on the board i gotta do that one we got a crew cup i've already done that so that's good but yep i think that's pretty much the deal guys all right fast and furious events are cool but they're usually very very expensive and very hard to complete because you got to have the cars almost always maxed out or at least close to it usually i guess that's what i've always heard is the cars almost need to be maxed or close to it and it can cost you a small fortune just to get through one so anyways i will catch you guys later all right see ya